welcome to another day at Kenny's Cuts. Well, so we had one bear to do today because we've been keeping right up on it, so it's been kind of slow. Um, but we got this one to do. Let's see, it's uh, it's a cooler bear. It was 150 pounds, I guess. Um, yeah, they want the inners are gone, so the back strap they want thirds, one hind quarter steaks, one hind quarter roasts, which should be pretty easy. Uh, front shoulders ground, they want um, burger, breakfast sausage, and garlic and cheese. Then we should have another bear coming in. Uh, right now we're all standing in front of the coffee pot waiting for coffee. So we got everything pretty much set up except for the grinder. I'm going to try to get some footage of just some random us cutting the customer. You know, just uh, make some footage for you guys. Um, yeah, things will start picking up and getting faster soon. We'll start having a lot more to do. There'll be a lot more footage and video. But for now, this is what it is. And we're going to get this bear done. And then we'll have another one coming in. So we'll see you soon. It came in a bag. Right now we got to clean it up. It's pretty nasty. It's got, well, it's not nasty. It just got fur and stuff because they, they uh, quartered it in the woods. So we got to get all this fur off in it and all that. A lot of time you can take your knife and just shave some of this fat off and you can get rid of a lot of it. Clean it up real nice. As you can see, that makes uh, it look a whole lot better. Yeah, that's good. That helps. Yep. Just like that. So I'm going to finish cleaning all that up, get it over there, and then we'll cut it up. Now I'm going to show you. Well, I got to check second because so we're waiting for the coffee still. Um, I'm just going to show you how. I sharpen my knives. We've been doing it a little bit differently this year. We used to have a, a grinder. Um, you hit the hit the trigger and it, you know, electric grinder. Um, but we noticed it was sh shaving our knives down and making them uh, smaller. But anyways, I went to Walmart and bought this. It was like 22 bucks. It's got a fine edge and a coarse edge. Uh, I sort of use that and then I use the stick. But basically, I'll put you down here so you can see. You got. Your coarse side and your fine side. I don't always use the coarse side. The only time I really use that is when my knife has been dull and keeps going dull. But so that today I'm going to just start right at the base of the knife and just pull it directly straight back. You can feel the burrs coming off of it. You, know, you don't want to take push too hard because you'll take too much of the metal away from the blade. But just remember, I mean, this is how I do it. And when you're cutting meat, you want your knife to be what works for you. So you got to figure out how you sharpen a knife, figure out all that. But these are some of the tools and some of the ways that you can do it. But anyways, I can feel that the burrs are all gone. So now I'll hit it on this a couple times, two or three times, maybe four. Depending on what it feels like. Okay, and then I'll put you back up here. Then I just grab my stick and what this does is it takes that, that edge and it gets the burrs off it. When you sharpen your knife on the stick, you're folding that very fine edge back and forth and taking off burrs. So what you want to do, whoops, get a nice rhythm going. Some people can do it way faster. Kenny. <laughs> I can't help it. And then there's pretty much that. I think you can see. So right now we're just gonna part this baby out. And this one is blown up. So that one I'm gonna make into steaks. Cause this one's pretty shredded. Well, actually I'll make this one into steaks because 
it wouldn't make a very good roast. And the, uh, the other muscle there is blown up. Both the top round and the bottom round. I need to get more coffee. Yeah. I ain't gonna make a good roast. But I can probably clean it up and I can get steak out of it, so I'm gonna do that. And I think it's called the tri-tip. Um, up here, they, when they were quartering it out, they totally, uh, so there ain't nothing there except for burger. Hey guys, gotta excuse me, it's first thing in the morning. Just got here. And that goes over there, Beavis. So, this is what happens sometimes. Uh, on bear, it's expected because people always use a big gun a lot of times. Um, I got a bunch of hair there I gotta get rid of. But uh, on deer, when you do this, you lose a lot of meat. Um, so try to take a good shot. I mean, they, they even said they blew this one up. But we'll get what we can out of it. I'll trim it off like this and make what I can out of it in the steaks. And we'll try to get some burger out of it. But a lot of it's going to get be no good to eat. So let's do it. You can see this is all full of blood. A bullet went through it. You can't really do nothing with that. It would taste kind of bad if you put it in a burger. But I got this now sort of trimmed up. I gotta clean this side. But then we can try to make some steaks out of that. cuts in the morning we have the hair of the bear instead of the hair of the dog <laughs> <laughs> yeah. pretty soon it'll be the hair of the moose yeah but I wouldn't want to say it. I, I had some of the hair of the bear that bit me because I wouldn't want to get bit by one of these bear no that's All right, it's about as clean as it's gonna get. They want quarter inch.
And we saved that one so they could have some steaks. So with this one, we're gonna take this cap off. I've showed you this before, but. I like to take the silver skin off. A little bit. Sink my knife underneath it, take a thin layer off this side. Take out this little ridge line of awesomeness. And that's pretty good. This little piece right here, this thin layer, that will, uh, the minute the heat hits it, it's gone. Alright, and this one's quarter inch. And this is one of your harder muscles to cut. You don't like to stay where you want it. And voila! Just clean up the bench. Prepped up to get rid of the hair. Throw this one down here. Got a little bit of the blood in it from being blown up. I like calling it blown up. <laughs> it's just something about it. What do you think? Yeah, blown up, get there. The enthusiasm. Right, you always want to cut. Against the grain. Well, how do they do that? <laughs> you know the the wheels. Yeah. And that's how you turn a hindquarter of a bear into steaks. And next we'll do the roast. 71. Alright. Let's go see it.
Another one in the door. Coco, you almost killed me with your ball. <laughs> oh. All right, so we got these here. We're gonna just turn these into some roast. Just gonna get all the veins and silver skin off and let them grow. Make sure you clean up after yourself so you don't get hair. So this one's got a little bit of damage. So we'll see what we can do. showed you guys it just came in we're just gonna get it done the guy can come and get it
We should be getting more animals real soon. Then it's gonna be all out war. Enter. Now we'll take out the back straps. So a little fat on this baby. Next trap. You can see I've done this once or twice. Today. Uh -huh. oh. Taking it out part. Talking to the camera. Backstrap. Cool, we're gonna get that done. 